Hello and welcome to another edition of Will's Grill Shack. Uh, a little bit different today, uh, I'm going to be handing over to my missus and uh, she's going to be cooking some brisket sausage rolls uh, from the leftover brisket that I did. Uh, it was a massive success um, on a post that I put on Facebook and everybody wanted to know how she did it. So um, yeah, I'm going to pass over to her and she's going to um, film it all for you. Okay, so I've got a firebox full, just going to light this up. Aiming for 200 degrees today, hence the firebox is quite full. So we're just going to uh, let that come up to temperature. Okay, so for this cook, you're going to need some salt, uh, some chilies, some parsley, some black pepper. Uh, these are five blended mushrooms. Uh, this is one egg and a dash of milk, half an onion. An oxo cube, a leftover brisket, looks lovely already, and some puff pastry. We're going to be heating it all up in the uh, Petromax Dutch oven. Okay, so we've got a fire at 200 degrees now. Um, we're just going to put the Petromax into the X rack, just like that. It does sit perfectly, and we're just going to let that heat up. Okay, so we're going to put the onions in, and we're going to saute the onions. Mix them all around in the bowl and let them heat up. Now we're going to put in the, um, the stock. And we're just going to mix that around. Okay, next up is the beautiful brisket that's going in. Move that all around, get the onions on it, and we're looking to sweat this brisket down so it starts to pull apart, which doesn't take very long, so you see it was uh, low and slow smoked. Now you want to add in a little bit more stock as well. Just mix that all around. Now you just want to pop the lid back on and let the Petro Max do all the work. Okay, here we go. It's now starting to pull apart. We're going to put in the mushrooms now. So this is uh, four blended mushrooms. Mix all that in. And we'll come back in a sec. Okay, first up we're going to put in the pepper. Just sprinkle that over the top. Now we're going to put in the salt. Next up is the chilies. And now the parsley and mix all of this together. I think the grill's a little bit hot for Holly, she's, uh, she's not used to it. <laughs> so, lid's back on, um, another five minutes or so, just sweating down. Okay, it's ready to come off now. I'm just gonna leave this here while we get the pastry ready. So we're going to set up like we're doing a pizza. So, deflector on there. Another deflector on there. Like that. And I'll use these little nuts. And you do little two. Two. And two. Just like that. Then what you do, get your KJ pizza stone and place that on the top and close the lid and wait for the stone to get to 200 degrees. And there we go, all pulled apart. It's smelling lovely at the moment. So then what we do is we take it out, we put it in our puff pastry. Form it into this sausage roll shape. Then fold it over and press in. And 
cut away. Just like that. And now repeat that process for as many as you want. Next up, we need to fork the outside, just like this. All the way along and all the way around. And there you go, all forked. Also what she does is she cuts off any excess that you don't need. So all the way along like that. Next up, you slice into it like this. Now we get the egg and we literally just baste the top of it. This gives it that lovely golden glow that we're looking for. Now we're going to put some sesame seeds on the top, just like that. Okay, Kamado Joe's at 200 degrees, so it's the stone. So we're now just going to pop them on like that to bake for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, we're 15 minutes. We're just going to have a little brief look. Oh, look at the goodness of those. Okay, we're 20 minutes in. These are looking good. Just need to press down on them to make sure that they're nice and puffy, which they are. These are looking and smelling so, so good. Okay, now for the taste test. Mm. So, so good. These are going to last all of five minutes again. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I'm going to go and enjoy these sausage rolls. Um, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and comment on the, uh, on the channel. And I look forward to seeing you for another video. Thank you.